So please, Ishan, will you begin? That's the word, guys. Mashallah, Farhan, that was very beautiful. Mahal, without peace, down with me, Mashallah. <coughs> so, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim, and uh, today we're talking about, like Farhan said, Tawheed, and Hamza also mentioned about Tawakkul, which is about the fact that Allah is all seeing. Tawheed, the oneness of Allah, is the main concept of Islam, and all monotheistic faiths, all Abrahamic faiths, follow this concept of the oneness of God. And um, in Islam, as Muslims, those who do not believe in the oneness of God will commit the act, act of shirk. And shirk is wrong and of course as a month is of course very special to us as is Ramadan. We should be avoiding all sin um, as much as we can. And we should definitely abstain from shirk at all times because it is known as a major sin. And Tawheed is where we have few types of Tawheed where there is one called Tawheed or Rububiyyah which is this means the belief in the one Lord of the entire universe and the fact that Allah is the creator of all things no matter whether it's as small as a spoon to as big as the universe Allah is the creator of all things then the second one is um, Tawheed Al-Uluya which is about the belief that none has the right to be worshipped except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now as Muslims when we stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during our salah our five different salahs Fajr Zohar, Asr, Isha, uh, sorry, Asr, Maghrib, Isha. We stand in front of our Lord and our Creator and we pray towards Him. We do not pray to none other than except Allah. And the last one is Tawheed al Asma wa Sifat, which refers to the attributes of Allah and the 99 names of Allah. So, one name, for example, is Ar Rahman, Al Malik, 
you know, God is King, you know, God is the Lord of this universe. There's many different attributes that Muslims would refer to Allah through the al -Basid. you know, there's many more. And this is where in uh, Surah Ash-Shura, uh, we get told that there is nothing whatsoever like him and he's all hearing and all seeing. All seeing being tawakkul. Now tawakkul is where I want to talk about in Ramadan especially, many brothers and sisters of course feel like that Ram the, the fast is getting to them, you know, the long hours of fasting um, can obviously become challenging and when a person is tempted by their desires, they feel like they can go into a corner and have a sip of water or have something to eat. Now of course, a common man might not see you, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is the, he is the all-seeing. He has that tawakkul and he will see and on the day of judgment this will come back to haunt you because it's going to be accounted towards your bad deeds because you have gone and intentionally you know there's difference between unintentionally doing something and intentionally going out of your way to break your fast of course unintentionally that is a different concept and inshallah we'll talk about that in another episode but for intentionally breaking your fast that is considered a sin now it's time for hamza to have his talk about tawheed and the oneness of allah so you may begin. Mashallah, I am very happy to be here. 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 I am very happy Jira kalma parne ho, o to sa usne vichane ho ki ek kalla hai. Ta jiriya neki karne ho, sare sareya neki ho usne vaste. Brothers and sisters, now it is time for Ishan to tell us a little bit about Tawakkal, and uh, I have been informed that he has a story he is going to go through, who, uh, the, through and uh, tell us about it. So you you may start. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Guys, tawakkul, like I mentioned uh, previously, it's about Allah being the all-seeing and you know, when we know that Allah is the all-seeing, we all know this, as Muslims, you know, we all know, but the problem is when we are there in the, the act which is led us to the wrong temptation, we, f we seem to forget this idea of tawakkul and that, no matter, we, you might be the only one in the room on your own, there might not be a, nobody else with you. But Allah is always there. Allah is always seeing this. And whatever you do, Allah says He is closer to you than your jugular vein. This is in the Quran. And this shows that no matter what you try to do, that Rabb up there, the Lord of the heavens and the earth, He knows what you're doing. He can see this. And that is the principle of tawakkul. So with this principle of tawakkul, there comes a short story with it about a shepherd and a man who was travelling through the desert. Now the shepherd was of course travelling through with his flock of sheep and he meets a man on the way who is of course travelling through the desert. This man asks him, he's really hungry of course, desert, there's not much food, not much water, so he asks him, can I have your sheep? You know, I need a sheep, I'm hungry. And the shepherd replies, these are not my sheep, they belong to my owner and I'm working for him. Now that's all fine. But then this man turns around and says, well just tell your owner, there's a wolf, he took it. You know, just give me the sheep. But then this was where the person who was walking in, he says, I was taken back. The shepherd replies, nobody else might be watching. And I can say to my owner, the wolf took the sheep. But what will I say to my rabb on the day of judgment? When my Lord asks me, how, what will I say? What will I reply? Of course, I cannot do this to you. And I believe in the idea of the wukun. And like I said, Allah is closer to us in our jugular vein. You may be deceitful, you know, you might think you might have got away with it today. But on the day of judgment, you won't have got away with it. And your Rabb will make sure you're accounted for this on the Day of Judgment. So please, brothers and sisters, let's refrain from trying to be deceitful and thinking that nobody's watching us because Allah is always watching. And my brothers and sisters, this is a key message from today's episode. That one, we should always believe in Tawheed as Muslims. It is a major sir, a shirk which will never be forgiven for, right? If we do not believe in the oneness of Allah. And the second one is Tawakkul. Tawakkul is a key principle where Allah is all seen. It's one of the attributes of our Rabb. So it shouldn't be taken lightly and we should respect it as true Muslims. It's time for Hamza to always talk about Tawakkul and what he thinks about it. So over to you Hamza. 
ਪਰ ਉਹ ਤਾਂ ਬਰਾਬਰ ਮਾਸ਼ਾਅੱਲਾ ਸ਼ਾਮ ਬੜੀ ਚੰਗੀ ਗੱਲ ਆ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਤੋਕਲ ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਇੱਥੇ ਹੀ ਮੁੱਕਦੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਆ ਅਗਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਨੇਕੀ ਵੀ ਕਰਸੋ ਤਾਂ ਅੱਲਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਨਾ ਤਕਣਾ ਵੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਗੁਨਾਹ ਵੀ ਕਰਸੋ ਤਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਨਾ ਅੱਲਾ ਤਕਣਾ ਵੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇਹ ਨਾ ਸੋਚੋ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਗੁਨਾਹ ਕਰਸਾ ਤਾਂ ਮਾਰਾ ਅੱਲਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਤਕਣਾ ਔਰ ਕੋਈ ਨਾ ਵੇ ਤਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਕੋਈ ਨਹੀਂ ਤੱਕੀ ਸਕਣਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਔਰ ਕੋਈ ਵੀ ਨਾ ਵੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕੋਈ ਨਾ ਤੱਕੀ ਸਕਣਾ ਬਸ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਅੱਲਾ ਹਰ ਵੇਲੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਤੱਕੀ ਸਕਣਾ ਤੁਸਾਂ ਇਸ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਤੋਂ ਬਸ ਇਹ ਗੱਲ ਯਾਦ ਰੱਖੇ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਤੁਸਾਂ ਗੁਨਾਹ ਜਿੱਲੇ ਵੀ ਕਰਸੋ ਤੁਸਾਂ ਅੱਲਾ ਤੁਸਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਰੱਬ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਤੱਕੀ ਸਕਣਾ ਹੋਵੇ ਤਾਂ ਤੁਸਾਂ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਗੁਨਾਹ ਨਾ ਕਰੋ ਚਾਹੇ ਕੋਈ ਬੰਦਾ ਨਾ ਤੱਕੇ ਤੁਸਾਂ ਅੱਲਾ ਹਰ ਵੇਲੇ ਤੱਕੀ ਸਕਣਾ ਤਾਂ ਆਹਰ ਪਰ ਤੁਸਾਂ ਅੱਲਾ ਤੁਸਾਂ ਤੁਸਾਂ ਉਸ ਉਸ ਗੱਲ ਦਾ ਹਿਸਾਬ ਪੁੱਛਦੀ ਜਾਇਜ਼ ਹੈ ਮਾ ਅਸਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਇਮਾਨ ਹੈ ਤਾਂ ਅੱਲਾ ਸੁਬਾਨਹੁ ਵ ਤਾਲਾ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਵੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਤੁਸਾਂ ਉਹ ਇਹ ਗੱਲ ਯਾਦ ਰੱਖੋ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਅੱਲਾਹ ਤੱਕ ਨਾ ਲਗਿਆ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਦੇ ਵੀ ਗਲਤ ਰਸਤੇ ਤੇ ਨਾ ਚੱਲਣੇ ਤੇ ਇਨਸ਼ਾਅੱਲਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕਿਆਮਤ ਨਾ ਦੇਰ ਆਇਆ ਉਹ ਲੈ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਮੁਸਲਮਾਨਾਂ ਕੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਇਹ ਗੱਲ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਵੀ ਯਾਦ ਰੱਖੀ ਹੋਈ ਨੇ ਇਨਸ਼ਾਅੱਲਾ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਕੀ ਜੰਨਤ ਨਾ ਫਲ ਮਿਲ ਸੀ ਯਾ ਹਮਜ਼ਾਨ ਇਸ਼ਾਨ ਦੇ ਹਵ ਸੈਡ ਰਾਈਟ even if if you are doing something bad or good allah is always watching he is always is there and uh, say you want to do something bad that uh, and you are intending to do it allah is the, is the one that is the closest to you yeah and yeah it's time to end the video here yeah and uh, i've got a roza and i'm starving so yeah to be end of here with you guys we're we'll going for a bit longer so for hong kong the, the viewers can see how hungry for hong is so guys honestly thank you for watching mashallah it's been a good episode today um mara dil sukoon aa gaya token wa tawakkul and tawheed um, and obviously sharing and spreading the message of islam is something that we um, aim to do in this uh, ramadan uh, and of course inshallah in many future ramadans may allah grant us the ability to reach them we will be able to do more and spread the message of islam and of course now um, it's time to end the video we need to read our um, asr namaz as well guys and um, inshallah i um, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video please do like subscribe and share and we'll see you on the next one and um, uh, guys i would just like to say uh, stay tuned for our next video which is coming out tomorrow which is uh, about uh, madni masjid which was the second masjid be- built on uh, built in halifax um yes yeah, stay tuned to that because it's a very uh, historical uh, um, video on the, how the masjid was originally started and who the founder was uh, you will see who that is and it is uh, described in detail by the man uh, we will be uh, seeing inshallah tomorrow so yeah um but the stories we have read today and the things that we have been saying mara dil mara dil have school na gaya the mikhi amida to sana me dil have school na gaya Ya Allah Ya Allah Ya Allah Ya Allah Ey Allah Rahman Rahim Awwal Akhir